नर मुनि जन अमृत खोज दे सु अमृत गुरु ते पाया सुर नर मुनि जन अमृत खोज दे सु अमृत गुरु ते पाया आया अमृत गुर कृपा की नहीं सच्चा मन बसाया सच्चा मन बसाया जी अजंत सब तुध पाए इक वेख परसन आया एक वेख पर सन आया लब लोब अहंकार चुका सतगुरु भला भाया कहे नानक जिसनो आप तुठा तिन अमृत गुर ते पाया 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 the soul is a particle of god and it has a natural longing to become one with him. It can only find lasting peace and bliss by attaining union with its source, the Lord. Spiritual adepts and saints come to the world to guide souls back to their original home. Radha Swami, the Supreme Being, descended to earth as a man. He came as a master to initiate souls into the mystery of Nam and awaken the world. Belonging to the tradition of such great saints of the past as Kabir, Guru Nanak, Ravidas and others, the saint, Seth Shiv Dayal Singh, known as Swamiji Maharaj, took birth in Agra in 1818. He propounded Radha Swami Mat or Sant Mat, that is, the ideal or the teachings of the saints in 1861 in Agra. He departed from this life on the 15th of June, 1878. Baba Jaimal Singh Ji Maharaj, saint of the highest order, was the chief disciple of Swamiji. He was initiated by Swamiji at Agra in 1856 and was appointed by him as his spiritual successor. This is the house in the village of Ghuman in Punjab, where he was born. He was asked by Swamiji to go and spread in Punjab the teachings of Surat Shabda Yoga, the joining of the soul with the divine melody reverberating at the third eye center in all human beings, irrespective of caste, creed, color, and country. He founded the Dera in 1891. 
Before that, it was a rugged land full of ravines and had peaceful and quiet surroundings situated on the banks of the river Bias. After Babaji had left this mortal world in December 1903, the mantle of mastership fell on Baba Savan Singh Ji Maharaj. He lived in this house. He was initiated by Babaji in 1894 at Murray. He was also known as the great master. Although Babaji Maharajji was the founder of the colony, Maharaj Savan Singhji was its real architect and builder. passed away on the 2nd of April 1948 and was then succeeded by Sardar Bahadur Jagat Singh Ji. In his extreme love and humility, he would not occupy the great master's room or any part of the house except one room and the bathroom. After him, Maharaj Charan Singh Ji assumed this responsibility. Maharaj Ji says, all saints have the same message to give, the same teachings to impart. They come to this world only to show us the way which leads us back to our original home. They tell us that the Lord is one, that he is within us, and if we want to find him, we must seek him within. Every saint talks of the word, the shabd, the creative power, which is one with the Lord which created the entire creation and which projects itself on our level as the perfect master, the word made flesh. The master, whose true form is the word or sound current, provides the missing link between the soul and its primal source. At the time of initiation, the master teaches the disciple the technique for withdrawing his consciousness from the entire body up to the eye center, where he comes in contact with the Shabd, or Holy Spirit, which resides within each one of us. Maharajji refers to the process of vacating the body and withdrawing the consciousness to the third eye as dying while living. The essential difference between ordinary death and dying while living 
is that the soul's link with the body is not broken. The organs of the body continue to function, and the soul returns to the body at the end of the meditation time. An adept who has perfected the art of dying while living can leave the body and return to it at will. By meditating, we gradually withdraw our consciousness to the third eye. While living, we die. And while still alive, we reach the eye center where the soul's real journey homeward and inward begins. is of the greatest importance in Santmat, for it is only he who can connect the seeker to the inner Shabd or word, teach him the method for going within and attaining God-realization while living, and thus attain final liberation from the cycle of birth and death. The soul eventually merges into its original source, the Lord. teachings of the masters aim to release the souls which have been imprisoned by innumerable ages and births, to free them from the shackles of religion and castes, to take them to everlasting bliss, and to merge them back to their source, the Supreme Being. You see, the purpose of Simran is to withdraw our consciousness back to the eye center. And the purpose of Dhyan is to hold our attention at the eye center. Dhyan is a great help for the disciple, to the disciple. But it is not must. Even without Dhyan, we will be able to hold our attention in the eye center. Our soul has two faculty. Faculty to think and faculty to visualize. We are always thinking about something or another. And about whomsoever we are thinking, we start also, see, we also start visualizing those faces, visualizing those objects. So we have to eliminate this worldly thinking. We have to eliminate this worldly visualization. Soon after satsang, the master daily visits the guest house to meet the overseas satsangis who have come from all over the world to stay for a few weeks at the Dera. It is an elevating experience for the disciples who absorb the radiant presence of their master at close proximity and experience an indescribable spiritual bliss.
एटमोस्फियर वी बिल्ट अराउंड अस बाई मेडिटेशन शुड हेल्प अस टू कीप स्टेट इन लाइफ टू हेल्प अस इन अवर डेली एक्टिविटीज इन लाइफ एंड मेडिटेशन डेफिनेटली हेल्प अस इट क्रिएट्स अ सर्टन ब्लिस सर्टन पीस certain joy within our self if you turn your back to meditation how can you seek the forgiveness of the father you will have to come back to this creation again because when you are attending to meditation that will create that faith in you that will give you faith but if you don't attend to your meditation then how can you be forgiven so meditation is more important it automatically creates that faith and leads us to that to that the sang sat guru meets people yes. and grants interviews to satsangis seekers as well as visitors with a view to come into personal contact and to advise them in their spiritual and temporal difficulties a free library and reading room consisting of literature relating to religious and spiritual subjects has been provided in the colony dissemination of literature on paramarth and satsang activities is promoted by means of publication is controlled by a number of departmental heads whose services are honorary hospital is maintained at the expense of the society for the benefit of the residents and visitors as well as the neighboring villages one of the special features of dera's medical service is an annual eye camp held in the dera itself the patients mostly belonging to poor families from rural areas are admitted purely on the basis of need and most of them are non satsangis more than 50 dormitories are converted into wards during the camp housing over 2000 patients all the patients are provided free meals milk tea vitamin supplements and medicines their families are also given free food and lodging Total operations in one eye camp is usually about 2000 cataract operations and 200 glaucoma and other operations. Because of devotion, an extremely high standard in operation is maintained even within a limited budget. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
a team of highly qualified eye surgeons come to perform the eye operations, which are mainly cataracts. Maharajji himself visits the eye camp at least twice a day and goes through all the wards, checking that the doctors have everything they need and that the patients are being well looked after. Another form of physical seva is occasionally rendered by the devoted satsangis in the benign presence of the master. It is lovingly and voluntarily rendered and it brings to them a sense of fulfillment and joy. If there is no love, I wonder if this universe can exist, can go. We can all live without love here. <clears throat> Hatred means eliminating each other. It's only love which sustains us in this creation. So that is the law of life. My 
Maharaji, my question has already been answered, but I would like to know whether you have any special message to leave with us before you go. But sister, I have already given you the message which Christ said 2000 years ago, that sin against the Holy Ghost can never be forgiven. So we should also never turn our back towards meditation. No matter what human feelings we may have, how weak we may be, but if we continue in our meditation, we will definitely be able to grow with the help of that Holy Ghost, which the Lord has kept within every one of us. So we should never turn our back to that divine melody within. And that is the message every mystic has given. And I can only remind you what they have been telling us all through. Maharaji, in the morning satsang you mentioned die to live. What is its real significance? Would you please explain it? Sister, we all know that we have to die one day. There is no escape. And meditation is nothing but a rehearsal to die daily. At the time of death, our soul is withdrawn from the bottom of our feet. And then we are, when we are withdrawn till the eye center, then the soul leaves the body. So we say the person has died. And the same thing we try to achieve in meditation. We try to withdraw our consciousness right from the bottom of our feet to our eye center every day in order to be in touch with the divine light within, divine melody within. So this is dying while living. Unless we learn to die while living, we do not live forever. We do not get everlasting life, internal life. So we have to die to live. We have to withdraw our consciousness to the eye center and be in touch with that divine melody within. And with the help of that light and divine melody, we have to travel within and find our destination and reach our destination and escape from birth and death. That is why St. Paul said, I die daily. And Kabir and Dadu says that people are so frightened of death and I die every day and I am so happy to die every day. This is just a way of explaining.
population swells within hours to 300,000 and the wide Dera streets and lawns are crowded with people coming for a glimpse of their master. ਕਿਸੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿਸੇ ਮੁਲਕ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਕਤ ਅੰਦਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਾ ਹੋ 
ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦੇ ਭਗਤੀ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਇੱਕੋ ਹੀ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਸਮਝਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕੋ ਹੀ ਸਾਧਨ ਸਮਝਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਵਾਮੀ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਉਪਦੇਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਰਚਨਾ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਹ 84 ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਜੇਲਖਾਨਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਜੇਲਖਾਨੇ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਨਿਕਲਣ ਦਾ ਕੇਵਲ ਇੱਕ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ਾ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦਾ ਜਾਮਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਮੌਕਾ ਇਸੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਖਸ਼ਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਾਲਕ ਦੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਕਰੀਏ ਮਾਲਕ ਨਾਲ ਵਸਾਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡਾ ਤੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਬੰਧਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਮਰਨ ਜੰਮਣ ਦੇ ਦੁੱਖਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਛੁਟਕਾਰਾ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਾਇਆ ਨਗਰ ਨਗਰ ਹੈ ਨੀਕੋ ਵੀ ਸਭਦਾ ਹਰ ਰਸ ਕੀਚੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਦੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਖੂਬਸੂਰਤ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਹਰੀ ਦਾ ਸੌਦਾ ਖਰੀਦ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਮਾਲਕ ਦੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਗਰ ਲਾਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੇ ਜਾਮੇ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਕੇਵਲ ਮਾਲਕ ਦੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਮਾਲਕ ਦਾ ਵਸਾਲ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਧੀਆਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਹਰ ਜਾਮੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਆਏ ਹਨ ਖਾਣਾ ਪੀਣਾ ਐਸ਼ ਇਸ਼ਰਤ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਾਮੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਅਗਰ ਕੋਈ ਅਨੋਖੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਜਾਮੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਹਾਸਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕੇ ਕੇਵਲ ਹੁਣ ਹਾਸਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਹੈ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਦਾ ਵਸਾਲ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਵਾਸ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਸਮਝਾਉਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਤੋਂ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਮੰਜ਼ਲੇ ਮਕਸੂਦ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਰੱਖੋ ਉਸ ਡੈਸਟੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਖੋਜ ਕਰੋ ਉਸ ਰੋਹਾਨੀ ਸਫਰ ਨੂੰ ਤੈਅ ਕਰੋ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡਾ ਦੇਹ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਣ ਦਾ ਪਰਪਸ ਪੂਰਾ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਦੇਹ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਣ ਦਾ ਮਕਸਦ ਪੂਰਾ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਦੇ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਤਰਫੋਂ ਹਨ ਔਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੰਨੋ ਪਕੜ ਕੇ ਲੈ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਤਰਫ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੌਣ ਹਾਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰਫੋਂ ਆਏ ਹਾਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰਫ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰੋ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਸਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਸੋ ਆਏ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚਣ ਤੇ ਰੋਣ ਤੇ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਵੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਨਾਲ ਸਰਬੰਧ ਔਰ ਤਲਕ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਹੀ ਕਦੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣਿਆ ਜੋ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਮਝੀ ਬੈਠੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੋਚੋ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਣ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਹੀ ਕਾਲ ਦਾ ਪਿੰਜਰਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਰਾਏ ਦਾ ਮਕਾਨ ਹੈ ਪਰਾਇਆ ਮਕਾਨ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ 50 60 ਸਾਲ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ 70 80 ਸਾਲ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਰਾਧਾ ਸੁਆਮੀ ਨਾਮ ਸਿਮਰਨਾ ਸੰਗਤ ਰੋ ਸੁਬਾ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਮਿੱਟੀ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਮਸ਼ਾਨ ਘਾਟ ਤੇ ਲੱਗ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਸੇ ਹੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕੱਲ ਸੁਬਾ ਵੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਤਕਾਰਯੋਗ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀਓ ਕੁਲ ਮਾਲਕ ਹਜ਼ੂਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਇਸੇ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਕੋਈ ਪੌਣੇ ਘੰਟੇ ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਤਸ਼ਰੀਫ ਲਿਆਉਣਗੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਨੇ ਹੋਣ ਉਹ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਨ ਤਾਸ ਦੇ ਸੁਬਾ ਵੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਪਾਸ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਔਰ ਟਰਾਲੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਸ਼ਮਸ਼ਾਨ ਘਾਟ ਦੇ ਪਾਸ ਮਿੱਟੀ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਆਪ ਸਾਰੇ ਟਰੱਕ ਟਰਾਲੀਆਂ ਟਰੱਕ ਟਰਾਲੀਆਂ ਟਰੈਕ
Nam is a treasure and is to be found within. Those who seek outside the human frame are in error. It is a blessing that comes only from the Master. People from all parts of the country come here to be initiated by the master. Every candidate is presented before the master. Husbands and wives in pairs, single men and women separately. Each person is individually scrutinized by the master and a question may be asked before he indicates acceptance for initiation. At the time of initiation, the master connects the soul of the disciple to the shabd, teaches him the way to meditate and imparts to him esoteric knowledge not available in books. One of the main services rendered to visitors is the langar, or free kitchen, which serves food to all, irrespective of caste, creed or social status. It owes its inception to Baba Jaimal Singh Ji Maharaj. He started the practice of offering free food to all pilgrims and visitors. The process of preparing the food, though elaborate, is clean and well organized. All cooking is done with a feeling of love for the master and his sangat. Ladies from all walks of life, consisting of the poor, the educated and the uneducated, all participate with devotion in this noble cause. The master visits the langar every morning and evening at the Bhandara time, going round all sections where sevadars are engaged in preparing food.
at the end, the master goes into the room where the chapatis are stacked. For a few moments, he silently invokes the Lord's grace and blessing on the food before it is distributed to the Sangat. Over the years, the langar has been expanded by reclaiming many acres of waste land and now it can accommodate 50,000 people at a time. kitchen provides food for visitors and such workers who wish to partake of it. Thank you. 
accommodated under every roof and covered area. They are given shelter in specially improvised large tents. And even the large satsanghar and its verandas are full. Every nook and corner of Dera is used for shelter. We can have only free will if we are free. Only a free person can have free will. A slave can have no free will of his own at all. As I said just recently, our soul is slave of the mind. And mind is a victim of the senses. <laughs> service is an essential part of the Sant Mat. The disciples do this seva out of love and devotion. There is no compulsion to do seva. It is entirely voluntary. Seva leads to humility, generates mutual love and understanding, and draws the love and grace of the masters and the Lord. The master himself makes it a point to visit the place where the Sangat is doing seva and he is present there for almost the entire seva period. starts for Maharajji with an early morning walk at his private residence. Sunori 
मिल बासनजार सतगुरु शब्द स्वरूप हैं रहे अर्श मझार तू भी सूरत स्वरूप है रहो गुरु की लार नैनन में गुरु रूप है तू नैन घार सरवण में गुरु शब्द है सुन गगन पुकार राधा स्वामी कह रहे यह मारग सार जो जो माने भाग से सो उतरे पार जो जो माने भाग से सो उतरे पार जो जो माने भाग से सो उतरे उन्होंने कहा है राधा साधारण आत्मा का नाम है वो ही सूरत है और स्वामी नाम है परमात्मा का जिसे हम शब्द कहकर भी पुकारते हैं इसलिए राधा स्वामी और सूरत शब्द एक ही अर्थ वाले दो नाम हैं आत्मा यानी सूरत तभी शांति और विश्राम पाती है जब वो अपने आदि स्रोत परमात्मा अर्थात शब्द से जा मिलती है बूंद समुद्र से मिलकर स्वयं समुद्र बन जाती है